Richard Fleischner, La Jolla Project, 1984. Richard Fleischner is an artist who really thinks about creating a sense of place. My sense of Richard's work is that it's essentially intuitive and at the same time based on geometry and mathematical relationships. La Jolla Project is based on alignments of stone elements, their placement in relation to each other, and the undulations of the land and placement of trees. He looks at the relationship of the human body to this much larger space that's kind of in between architecture and landscape. The work is as much about the spaces in between as it is about the geometries of the stones themselves. When you walk through the space, you are aware of different views and aware of different perspectives. And this work does consist of columns and connections with those columns. They're all a human scale that is derived from two sizes of stone. Richard was inspired playing with his kids with blocks. People like to sit on them, study, read, contemplate. People have chosen this area for weddings, for memorials, for all kinds of things. So I think it clearly does uh, create a sense of place. Fleischner was very involved in the life of the natural stone, its honed surfaces and the way it darkens when it rains. The honed surfaces retain the traces of saw cuts. There is a modular proportion to every block dimension, length to width to depth. There is one exception, the massive round table that is an intentional reference to Brancusi. Important to Richard Fleischner was what he called critical distance being able to stand back and let the material be what it wants to be and the place be what it is. Let the stone be the stone. The site was and remains a modified place with an old asphalt road meandering through it preserved as part of the art and several axes determined by trees and the openings between them. All of this is integrated into the work. 